percent it's not a test you're not asking for perfection all you're asking for is my whole heart every broken piece every forgotten
of heaven rejoicing he who goes out in souls and tears shall reap with songs of joy songs of joy your weakness has you hiding in shame the knowledge that you're not as strong as you thought you were you're so afraid of what lies ahead you're thinking, how will you run over the hills with me? Well, I'm not leaving you now. I'm still here. So let me see your face. Let me just hear your voice Let me see the one I want so near And let me see your face And let me just hear your voice Let me see the one I want so near I see the longing under the fear I see it in your heart to finish the race with me I know if you just say yes again together we can make the longing reality Let me 
your holy mountain. I want to meet with you, my God. Oh, meet with you, my Father. Meet with you, my
daily victory is mine victory is mine victory as I'm your from 
Day that I wasn't by your 
that you weren't by my side and there wasn't a day that you let me fall in all of my life your love has been true and with all of my life i will worship you as there wasn't a day that you weren't by my side there wasn't a day that you let
what you have to do And he's brought me to the wilderness Where I would learn to sing And he lets me know my barrenness So I will learn to lean And he's brought me to the wilderness Where I would learn to sing and he lets me know my barrenness so I will learn to lead. And beautiful mercy, do what you have to do. Jealous lover, do what you have to do. And beautiful mercy, do what you have to do. Oh, jealous lover, do what you have to do. He's brought me to the wilderness where I will learn to sing. And he lets me know my barrenness so I will learn to lean. And he's brought me to the me know my barrenness so I will learn to lean and he's brought me to the wilderness where I would learn to sing and he lets me know my barrenness so I will learn to lean oh and beautiful mercy what you have to do jealous lover do what you have to do a beautiful mercy do what you have to do jealous lover do what you have to do trust the one who has a perfect history gotta trust the one who makes no mistakes not in what he does not in what he says not in what he creates not in what he allows Perfect in all your ways. Jealous lover. He's brought me to the wilderness where I would learn to sing. And he lets me know my barrenness so I will learn to lead. And he's brought me to the wilderness where I would learn to sing. And he lets me know my barrenness so I will learn to lead. Beautiful mercy, do what you have to do. Jealous lover, do what you have to do. Beautiful mercy, do what you have to do. Jealous lover, do what you have to do. you're faithful to the end you will finish what you've started you're faithful to the end you will finish what you started you're faithful to
to the end you will finish what you started be faithful to the end you will finish what you started there's a light drawing near that will display all your fears brilliant as the sun he won't delay the perfect love is on its way there's a light drawing near that will display Oh my God. 
do anything oh my god nothing's too hard for you oh my god you can do to the highest of peaks into the depths of the wildest sea there is no distance too wide that you won't reach Bigger than any regret Your passion is stronger than even death Mountains may fall or give way But your mercy will not be swayed And so
Your passion is stronger than even death. Mountains may fall or give way, but your mercy will not be swayed. Whatever the season may bring, you have a harvest in store for me. Morning will break and I'll see how faithfully
you're looking ahead, you can already see me leaning. You're looking ahead down the road, you can already see me trusting. You're looking ahead, you can already see me running with you. You're looking ahead, you can already see me leaning. So let me see your face, and let me just hear your voice. Let me see the one I want so near. Let me see your face, and let me just hear your voice. Let me see the world I want so near. I'm not leaving you now. I'm still. God, it doesn't matter where we are, whether it's in the valleys or in the mountaintops. You have always been with us, and your love has remained with us. In Psalm 103, it says, Our days are like the grass, and the wind blows over it, and it remembers its place no more. But from everlasting to everlasting, your love has been with those who feared him. So, yeah, God, your love has been with us yesterday, today, and tomorrow. And let, let, that be, let that fact be the thing that sustains us through every trial, through every hardship, even through all the good times, God. Let the assurance of your love, the assurance of your presence be the thing that gives us hope for the victory, God. Father, let us just have peace knowing that the creator of the heavens and the earth is with us, that the one who all these beasts in the throne room and all these rulers and kings bow down to, that that person is with us, that person is for us. So God, as we pray for Israel, let us just believe that you, that you and your power, the, the one who can do anything, be able to bring about this breakthrough that we are contending for, for the nation that you love. In Jesus' name, amen. We will now be transitioning to a time of intercession for the nation of Israel. And as I pray, we ask that you come into agreement and to then follow with your own intercession. Father, there's no denying the promises you've made to Israel. You've promised wealth and fruitfulness to the nation, not because of their works, not because of their merit, but it's simply because you 
have taken delight in choosing Israel as a nation that's greatly loved by you. So we pray that the people of Israel will receive your blessings of wealth in a variety of ways. Bless the works of owners and employees of various businesses. Bless Israel's companies and startup companies with great vision and ideas that will allow their businesses to become more successful. Bless Israel's economy in general to be able to generate more wealth. Father, won't you also bless the farmers of Israel? We ask that you make their crops fruitful and abundant as well as their livestock. We pray against any drought or natural disaster and declare fertile soil over their lands and that no matter what season it is, let the environmental conditions always be ideal, always be perfect in producing crops. We also pray against famine and let no person in Israel ever go hungry, Father. Furthermore, we also pray against barrenness in future families of Israel. We declare fruitfulness over husbands and wives and for the generations to come that they will be able to bear children, start beautiful families, and express the Father's love over their children. God, you command us to be fruitful and multiply. So won't you pour out your blessings over the families in Israel to be able to fulfill that command. Father, as Israel claims and takes hold of your promises of wealth and fruitfulness, you desire for the nation to also bless others. We pray as Israel is blessed that it will be a blessing upon other nations as well, providing for their needs. We pray against any desire of greed or selfishness in the people and that you will instead give them a heart of generosity to give to others with joy and that ultimately they will use their blessings to further build your kingdom. Let's pray.
Father, just as you promised, we ask you to remove the hardness of hearts of the people of Israel, hearts that have been hardened with callousness, apathy, or skepticism towards you or others. We ask you instead to soften their hearts, making them hearts of flesh beating with life and hope and joy, and will allow them to do things like love on other people, be vulnerable to others, and have hope for your promises. Holy Spirit, we ask you to change the hearts, like only you can, of those who might have grieved you, to follow the Father's commands, not out of duty or obligation, but out of a love, passion, and desire to please you. Even for those that have been completely turned away from you, God, create that seal of fire on the people's hearts like you say in the songs of Solomon that burns like a blazing fire. We pray against any shame or guilt regarding the past and that the people will come out of that place knowing that they weren't just made clean by you, God. No, that they've been made clean by the blood that you, Jesus, have spilt on that cross. Give them the revelation that you, Jesus, were the one who died for their sins, who cleansed them from all their impurities. And Jesus, as you transform the lives and renew the hearts of the people, we prophesy they will transform the lives of other non-believers as well. That they will set others free with their testimonies of how you changed their hearts. That they will guard their hearts with all vigilance to flow springs of life that will give life to others. Let's pray.
God, you've also made a promise to Jerusalem. You've made a promise to establish it with the title of the city of righteousness, the faithful city. So we ask, God, that you will appoint God-fearing leaders filled with your wisdom to build your kingdom from the political sectors. We pray that they will be agents of change, bringing down the strongholds of corruption and evil, that their hearts will burn with that same righteous anger that you, Father, burn with against the injustice that is taking place in Israel in areas like sex trafficking. And we also pray for key influential leaders, not just political ones, but leaders who influence other realms like the business or entertainment or education as well. We pray those leaders will help build up Jerusalem with a culture of faithfulness, with a culture of righteousness in their actions, and leadership that will positively influence and rally the people of Israel. And Jesus, you desire to return and establish a new Jerusalem, one that's not made by human hands. But as the groom, Jesus, you don't want to come to a bride who's unprepared for her wedding day. So we pray Jerusalem prepares herself with purity and holiness, setting herself apart from other cities of other nations, so that when you return, Jesus, you will be able to praise and commend Jerusalem for the righteousness and faithfulness, and that you will be able to call it truly the city of righteousness, the faithful city. Let's pray.
return of Christ, you will be a city found faithful and righteous. You will be a city found waiting for her bride. You will be a city found faithful and righteous. You will be a city found waiting for her bride. All Israel will be saved. Not some, not most of Israel. You desire for all of Israel to be saved. And let us not settle for anything less. Let us believe that all of Israel will be saved. So Jesus, we prophesy all non-believers and all Jews will be given the revelation that Jesus, you are the only one Messiah and that you are the Son of God. That is through you that we can be saved. We pray that you will open their eyes and ears to the gospel. Create an opening in their hearts to favorably receive it and not be turned off by it. We pray for miracles, whether it's healing or provision, that will point them to you, Jesus, as the truth. We also contend for a nationwide movement of repentance that won't have to be forced, but a repentance out of simply just from their passion for you, Jesus. We also pray strategic wisdom over the believers and Messianic Jews in Israel as they preach the gospel in the nation. Give them the wisdom of what to say as well as the boldness that doesn't care what others think. Activate in them spiritual gifts of prophecy and healing to bring freedom and breakthrough for others who will in turn be saved as they discover you, Jesus. Let the testimonies of the believers of how great you have been in their lives also provide breakthrough for non-believers who hear them. And Father, as we contend for the salvation of Israel, we pray other nations intercede for the nation as well. We pray the world understands just how much you desire this for the nation that you love. Father, give the nations the eyes, the heart that you have for the nation that you love to contend for them. Let's pray.
Yeah, Father, uh, we just um, thank you for all the things that you've done and just the many promises that you have made to Israel. We just pray that those promises, let us just believe that all your promises are yes and amen, God. And we just pray that Israel as a nation takes a hold, that they take claim of your promises, God. And as we prayed for these promises tonight, Father, we just pray that, that you will move, that many things are going to happen in Israel in the coming days. And we just pray, God, that uh, Israel will be a nation that is blessed, blessed until the day that you return, Jesus, and beyond. And we just thank you for the things that you are doing in Israel and the, that, and the things that you are going to do. And we just thank you. In Jesus' name, amen.